Hello, everybody. This is Pastor Dean. You know, those who refuse to believe the Bible, uh, those who refuse to believe the Bible as the Word of God, have never really studied it. Now, why do I say that? Because it sounds it sounds so general and, and, and so judgmental to say something like that. So sweeping to uh, accuse uh, non-believers of not studying what I call Holy Scripture. But you know what, my friend? It is the truth. I want to give you an example. I, I, ask an atheist if he has ever studied Bible prophecy. Now, if the atheist knows what it is, they will most likely answer no. In fact, most college professors who ridicule the Holy Writ to their students, that they will look absolutely starry-eyed when you ask them about Bible predictions or prophecy. Now, listen to me carefully. If one studies, if one searches the Bible studiously, studiously, in particular the Old Testament, you're you're going to find that there were precious prognostications on how to determine the expectant Savior. And it happens to be in the Old Testament that 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 just one of the many qualifications uh, of 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 the savior uh, would be that he must be a descendant in the family line of Abraham and David. Now that seems like a a small thing to some atheists, but thousands of years before Jesus was born, old. Testament writers predicted that Jesus would be of the family of Abraham, of the family of David, and would be born in Bethlehem. All documented. So Matthew, who was a Jew and who wrote the Gospel of Matthew, the first thing he does in the first chapter of his book is give the genealogy of Jesus Christ. Why did he do that? Because he knew his Jewish Jewish audience would believe his claims that Jesus Christ was the Messiah if he could present to them his genealogy. Now those are things you don't you didn't fabricate in those days because you you do something like that you you could get your your head chopped off. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 says this is the record of the ancestors of Jesus the Messiah a descendant of David and of Abraham. See Matthew knew that that first sentence would absolutely enrapture every Jew that seriously read his book because they they knew how important genealogies were and they knew that the Old Testament writers had predicted thousands of years before Christ was born, that he would be of the family of Abraham and David. Amazing. Go to Matthew chapter 1. Read the whole chapter. It'll take just a couple of minutes, and you'll see for yourself. And if the Bible is truly God's word, how will you answer your Creator If you don't read it, make a decision. Study the facts. I'll promise you this. Your life will never be the same. This is Pastor Dean. 
for five life-changing minutes.